0.03. Here I am going to discuss a topic of BPY001, Indian Philosophy Part 1 of Block 4, under the unit Buddhism, under the subtitle 3.4 Practical Teachings of Buddhism, of which I have chosen the topic The Four Noble Truths of Buddhism. First, we will have to take a glance of the philosophy of Buddhism. First, we should know that what type of philosophy Buddhism is. We all know that Buddhism is a heterodox system of Indian philosophy. It belongs to the heterodox system because it believes the existence of Vedas, yet it did not believe in all the sayings of Veda, but it believes upon the sayings that are promoted by Lord Buddha. Gautama or Siddhartha is regarded as the founder of this system. Gautama or Siddhartha, the same person, was a king who at the time of getting knowledge known as Buddha is the founder of Buddhism. This system is basically rooted in practical teachings of Siddhartha or Buddha. Buddha being a king was mostly dominated by the practical thinkings of human life. So while discussing philosophy, he discusses every aspect of philosophy from a practical standpoint of a general human being. Buddha's teaching is related to the search for ultimate truth of the world. We all know about the story of Buddha that how he involved himself in the thinkings of philosophical domain. During his search, Buddha has discovered four important hinges upon which human life is based. Actually, Buddha, while going to find out the ultimate truth of the world, he was trying to find out the remedies, the cures by which we can come up, come over or overcome the sufferings of human life, the reality of human life. Then while going to in his search, he find out he discovered certain important aspects of human life, which his later on he developed into four noble truths, popularly known as four noble truths or Sutta Aitya Satta, four, four noble truths. The first noble truth, we will start with it. The first noble truth of Buddhism, which was discovered by Buddha in his first days of discovery, was Dukkha or suffering. The first truth is that life is full of suffering. That is, life includes pain of separation from loved ones. We know in his story that he discovered many people in his journey of truth that people are suffering from different types of pains. One of them is the separation from loved ones. We all follow, we all are under this grief that we all get separated from our beloved ones in our life now and then. So this pain is an inseparable pain of every human life. Old age. This age, old age, is an undebatably a certain aspect of human life that will come to every human being without taking any question or without any separation of his status in life or his uh, dignity, his uh, morality or anything. He, every human being will get this age. At this age, human beings become more dependent upon others. They 
are not as energetic as they were in their young age they have to wait for their uh, uh, whatever they want for the others to be supplied so old age is an age where people generally don't want to go but it is an unavoidable age that will come to everybody then disease there is not a single person in this world who is not having any disease disease whether it may be small or uh, like a cold fever or anything or a huge disease or big disease suffering from a as a person may be suffering from whatever be but disease is a disease which is always unpleasant and ultimately the ultimate destiny of human life the death that is an unavoidable aspect of human life no one in this world can escape from the hands of death that is our destiny though that is our destiny yet we suffer from the pain that we will die we know that we will die still we feel the pain that we will die we will no more in this world and we will not be able to be with our loved one to enjoy the world to have all the pleasures that bore out of the worldly objects so these are the pains that human bring beings unavoidably have to go through we also endure some psychological sufferings like loneliness frustration fear humiliation disappointment and anger we sometimes feel in the midst of every people that we are alone nobody is there to take care of us everybody are against us this is the loneliness that we feel that comes out of our own mind that is our own creation and sometimes we really become lonely if our loved one are not with us then frustration frustrations come out of not getting what we want what we desire but this this frustration is not a product of nature it is the product of our psychology that what we are not getting is not sufficient fear fear of that fear of bad person fear of uh, anything uh, losing anything fear fear is accompanied with all types of human relations all types of human feelings and all types of human emotions fear we cannot escape humiliation we are always having a kind of uh, inferiority complex in us that we may be humiliated by others if we do like this so humiliation is an aspect that is psychologically created by human being within himself due to the dominance of our own insufficiency or our own inferiority complex disappointment we are disappointment with his this and that or his and her or whatever we are we are a, we, the human beings are at a state of psychology that they are not satisfied with anything what they are getting they always try to dis, disappoint they are, they are always in a state that they always try to say themselves that i am disappointed this is the safest position where they can show others that i be sympathize with me i am disappointed with this one and somebody is disappointing me or that and ultimately anger the demon that ruins human nature anger is our own creation we can be angry if we want we may not be angry if we don't want so anger is a, a psychological suffering that we are causing by ourselves this is a certain fact that we cannot deny it. these are the things that comes out of our own mind we cannot deny them and even we don't want to go out of them so the first noble truth is that dukkha suffering human being suffer in this life 